Officials are furious about a security breach at the APEC conference in Sydney. A motorcade of vehicles got through the cordons and delivered a man dressed as Osama bin Laden to the front door of George Bush's hotel. It turns out those responsible were from a TV satire programme, The Chase Report. Channel 7's Chris Reason reports. The Chaser crew has pushed the boundaries many times before, but never as far as this. Dressed as Osama bin Laden, Chaz Lechadello and colleague Julian Morrow took a bogus three-car motorcade straight through Apex Ring of Steel. I don't see a funny side to what's happened today. I don't see a funny side at all. It looked authentic, dummied up as a delegation from Canada, a black limousine with outrunner security, four-wheel drives front and back, and motorcycle escorts at the head. They breached two security checks and the Macquarie Street fence zone all the way to the checkpoint outside President Bush's hotel, the Intercontinental. And no one twigged until Chaz stepped out as Osama. No, I'm not embarrassed at all. What I am is I'm very angry that such a stunt like this would be pulled. They arrested eight ABC employees and three hire car drivers. Oh, look, at this point, so it's all a bit up in the air. I you know, defer all questions to today, tonight, the current affairs. Well, they were arrested, so I guess that just shows the security, um, the security system works. This was an incident that began, of course, as comedy, but may end up making a laughing stock of the entire Apex security machine. $160 million spent, and this convoy got to within metres of the President's hotel. The state government insists it was far from a security failure. Eleven people have been arrested. I offer my congratulations to those police officers for their diligent work. There was almost a twelfth. Just leave the area, please. The police in no mood for any more comedians.